Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. These are all lithium button cells which are non-rechargeable and is having 3 volt. Each cell has a number which we can identify its size, type, etc. This is CR2032, you can read it, right? And this one is CR2025 and this one CR1620. These are used in computer motherboard, automobile security key, glucometer and etc. How can you make sure these batteries are working fine or not? If you are answering that by checking voltage using multimeter then I will show you the voltage of each battery. This is the voltage and current meter I made. We can start measuring each battery. And this battery is showing 3.2 and according to the voltage this battery is working perfectly good. And the other cell it is showing 3.1 that is also working fine and the CR1620 type battery it is showing 3.2 perfectly good and the other one is showing 3 but comparing with the other this is having a bit low voltage 0.2 voltage less and this one is also showing 3.2 which means all the batteries are working fine according to the potential difference I am asking you one more time are you sure these batteries are working fine according to the voltage measured the answer is yes an electronic equipment needs two things in its power source for its smooth functioning. One is voltage and the other one is current. Here voltage is ok and what about current that we have to check it. One way to check the current is to give a load and check its current but some batteries will give enough current for short span of time. I will give you a shortcut method to check which all batteries are good and which all batteries are bad. For that we will use an LED with a series 100 ohm resistor. If you are not using the LED and directly connect the 100 ohm resistor across the battery then it will draw 3 volt by 100 ohm which is 0.03 ampere and in short 30 milliampere. So if you are connecting the LED which means more load resistance and current consumption will be even more less. So by using this load there should not be any voltage drop happening across the battery. Let's check it out. Right now I am measuring the voltage across the battery and it is showing as 3.1 volt. Now we will connect the load. We are not expecting any voltage drop across this battery and you can see after LED light up there is no voltage drop across the battery. It is showing 3.1 which means this battery has full charge and working perfectly fine. Now we will do the same process to other batteries. Now we will measure the voltage across this battery and it is showing 3.1 volt and when I am connecting the load you can see the voltage has dropped to 2.8 volt. 0.3 volt has dropped when the load has connected which means this battery is not functioning well. We can blindly tell that this battery cannot be used anywhere. You can throw this battery to the trash. Now we can check CR1620 battery when I am measuring the voltage it is showing 3.1 volt and when I am connecting the load the voltage has dropped to 2.9 2.8 2.9 which means this battery is also can be thrown to the trash. Do not use this battery and also we can check the other batteries as well uh, I am checking taking the other battery and when measuring its voltage is showing as 3.2 which is pretty good but when I am connecting the load it is dropping to 2.8 volt which means this battery is also not functioning well so this battery will also be in trash soon let us test the uh, final battery we have when measuring the voltage across this battery it is showing 3 volt. This is showing a bit less volt comparing with the other batteries and if I am connecting the load across this battery it is actually dropping to 2.6 volt which is very bad and this battery should also be in trash. After checking all batteries out of these 5 batteries I can make sure that this is the only battery which is having full charge and this is the only battery which can be used in any electronic equipment. Its brand is Panasonic you can see that yeah. My suggestion is when you buy this kind of lithium batteries please buy branded batteries. Those are a bit costly but will stay for a long time. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. 
press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. If you like our video, please click like button. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.